Right. Halloween. Yo, where's that? Where's that? Where's that link, Yoshi? Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Welcome to the late night hour of the witching dawn. Balloon. Epic. Epic. All right. All right. Later. No! Oh, yeah. Yep. All right. I think the very last thing that happened was just me and Boris were chatting. Yeah, I believe that was it. Hello. Because we were heading back to World's Eye to collect the two cores that are sitting there. Yeah, hopefully. And then from there, we were going to continue in our uh, northwestern direction to the island of uh, Moki's people. Yeah. Didn't we say that we were going to pick up the, the other two cores first, though? To... Well, yes, I, that's what I yeah. said. All right, I need to get this hair out of my ears. <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, on the ship. Mm. Um, I guess I will uh begin pouring through my books and seeing what I could possibly learn to aid Aeon with their curse. Since I've been planning. And I guess run some tests on the pinky. Oh god, yeah, that happened. Okay. Ah. We need to cut Aeoth's head off. Hand. Yeah, the hand, the hand. <laughs> I. Oh, no. Part of me. Okay. Okay, that's good to know. All right. Uh, but still, with the information I've gathered from him, I will pour over the tomes that I have. And during however long this takes, that is what Boris will be doing. <laughs> Trying to invoke my researcher feature. I either I have it or I know where to get it. So you can just inform me of that later.
So last night I was asleep in Davari's room. Um I would be probably how long has it been? Are we starting up right like as soon as like right after that's uh the last session? Or is there some time? Okay. Um hold on, I'll roll. <laughs> Uh, okay. Clementine uh, would probably wake up. And... I don't really know what to do. I guess it's up to everyone else. Yeah. I just realized that on I just realized that on the stream in Discord I've been muted. Oh my lord. Lovely. No, uh, the the stream Twitch. T I just realized that I've been muted. Oh no. It, it, oh. It's, have we been muted? No, 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 no. Just me. Just me. Oh. Okay. Anyway. Oh, okay. The one that's most important. Yeah, because it's the <laughs> recording. Anyways, basically what I said, it's storming outside. We got some stuff to get the ball rolling. We're in the air now. Pre-flight preparations have been complete. We're flying. So yeah. We're flying. Uh, as uh, you all uh, begin to make your way uh, basically across the continent, uh, the, uh, the clouds begin to thicken uh, and you can hear, uh, a few stray bolts of lightning, uh, occasionally streak across the sky. It's a little worrisome. Only a Considering, yeah. Yeah, con consider- a little bit worrying considering what day it is today and- you know, the themes <laughs> of this holiday. All Eve. So, yes. Uh, Morlock. Uh, as you say that you uh, head up to the bridge to look down at the continent, uh, indeed, uh, almost the entire ship has essentially been obscured uh, by by the clouds surrounding the area. Uh, you, you can see little glimpses uh, between the clouds of like uh, small towns uh, beneath, the, uh, beneath the airship. The... This takes a breath of the storm. And uh, we're, are we above the clouds enough that we're being rained on, or? I think we're in the cloud. Uh, we're in the cloud. It's you're y'all yeah. are definitely getting rained on. Cool. Morlock uh, shakes her head and proceeds to go back inside to the cabins area. Yeah. 
would you like to let anyone else know uh, about the uh, current state of the outside? Uh, I figured that they'll know by just, like, looking out a window or hearing the lightning. Understandable. Aoth is on the deck. He's gonna he's gonna hold his shield over his head to try and block the rain, and he's also gonna look over the edge. Yep. Uh, again, you you see that same thing. Uh, who, whoever is looking over the edge, though, could I ask if uh, y'all could make a perception? Ooh. A perception check. Okay, I'll do that. Hold on, I have to open D&D Beyond. Perception. Perception! Ah! Almost a nat 20. Trash. It's trash. His weakness is rain. Oof. 17. 17, alright. Um... As you guys look down below, uh, you can catch a small glimpse of uh, what appears to be a town. Hmm. Just any town? Uh, not not one that you specifically know, but uh, looking below, uh, you do catch a glimpse of uh, not your typical sort of street lights. Uh, usually at this time of night, uh, there'd be a few, uh, you know, little lanterns to, uh, light up the area, but, uh, instead, uh, from what you can see down below, the town has been brightly lit, uh, many differently colored lights, uh, down below that you can see. Bless you, whoever just, uh, like, gunshotted into the microphone. A microwaving bread. Oh, <laughs> hello, ninjas. <Ew. laughs> Welcome. Hello. Uh, my hay fever is really bad today. Dang. Uh, just letting you know where we are. We're currently on an airship in the air. It's raining. Storm. There's a uh, there's a brightly lit town below. Aoth is going to go over to Morlock and ask if they saw anything. Just some town down below. Nothing to really concern ourselves with. Are you... I wonder if it would be a good idea to stop there until the storm passes. I'm hoping this lightning doesn't strike us. Well, we can leave that up to our cat. From what I can tell, though... Seems like we're able to keep our course. Well, as long as it stays at this and doesn't get any worse, I think we're all right for now. Morlock just kind of gives you a look, glinting her eyes. Uh, knock on wood. Mm. Okay, so, uh, Abby, funny you say all that. Lightning proceeds to immediately strike. <laughs> Here's the thing, that was the plan the whole time. You guys feel the entire ship shake as a very, very loud bolt of lightning strikes down uh, upon uh, the left-hand side of the ship. Oh. <laughs> no! Christ! Uh, oh. I just like I would just like to say this is not your fault for saying that it was going to happen anyways. <laughs> Do the rest of everyone else in character, it was definitely your fault. <laughs> you uh, Morlock now glares at Aoth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, usually knocking on wood works. Good gracious. Uh she uh holds on to the railing as she heads into the cabin to try and find Juniper. All right. Uh, all of you here uh, throughout the ship coming from uh, a few different 
uh, not exactly pinpointable locations in the ship. Basically, basically the intercom system. Uh, you hear Juniper's voice come over the, the sounds. Uh, everyone, please hold on to your butts or whatever you have instead of a butt because we are going down. Uh, if possible, try not to get thrown out a window. Oh god. I'm going inside the cabin. Everyone, I, I don't know. I lock the safe. door once Aeoth gets in. Alright. If everyone in the airship could make me a dexterity saving throw, that would be nice. Oh, oh god! I'm no I, 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 oh, yay. Hey, Yoshi, I'm going straight up on deck. <laughs> no! Okay, you oh, know what? Yeah, so sure. Fine, go ahead and try. <laughs> I got a four. Of course I got a four. I got a four. Okay. Ninja, is for are you actually going to make forty two go out on deck? Yeah. Alright, make he a dex make a dexterity there. saving throw with disadvantage, please. Okay, the first roll I got was a two. Minus one, so that's a one. And then the second roll. <laughs> Come on, Boy, baby. You're Let's get a one. Flying. Let's get a one. I need to roll a zero. No, that's a 17. Well, I did say disadvantage, because that's still a 1. So, uh... I'm chucking 42 out a window. That's it. Wait, no, not a window. He's just gone. No! To the storm, no! 40, 42 is essentially catapulted off of... They're just trebuchet off... 42 appears on deck, and then immediately gets flung off. Team Rocket's blasting off again. Alright, see, see you next session. <laughs> Wait, no, they actually left! They actually left! That motherfucker! Oh god! Hold on, I'm, uh, I'm yelling at them. Out. Brace yourself! <laughs> All right. So, for everyone who got below a 15, let's see. Please take... God damn it, Boris. Please take 11 uh, bludgeoning damage. Oh my god. Uh, for those of you that, uh, that got, uh, better than 15, please, uh, half that. So about six. Six damage to those who saved. So. Uh. I'm sorry, I'm still just reeling a little bit from the fact that 42's been catapulted into uh, oblivion. Uh, but basically, after the lightning strikes the ship, uh, the entire airship basically jolts to one side. Uh, m most of the uh, ground beneath you seems to be skewed as, as the entire airship is essentially... Uh, falling out of the sky towards the left. So, as I'm assuming everyone is screaming on the way down. Uh. Yep. So, the airship falls out of the sky, uh, and I I'm just gonna say this in, like, third person to all of the party. It's like, a, it's like a movie camera, okay? I'm just gonna describe some of this stuff that way. Go for it. Uh, essentially, uh, the camera follows the airship falling down out of the sky. Uh, as it tries to sort of correct itself in midair, uh, the ship just barely manages to, uh, 
keep itself on course enough that the airship doesn't uh, completely get obliterated. Uh, and as the ship crashes into the ground and kicks up wads of dirt uh, and stone and probably knocking over a few trees as well, um, you guys slowly uh, come to a stop. Okay. Has the ship effectively capsized and is like on its side? The the ship is is mostly right side up, so you you guys can uh sort of you guys can sort of walk around, but it's going to be a bit difficult. Okay. Uh, if I feel that the ship has uh, stopped moving, yes. Begin wandering, making sure everyone's all right. Drawing the different captains. Yep. All right. So, uh, as you look around, finding people. Uh, let's see. Uh, Devari and Clementine were in the same room. Forty two is probably in the storage closet. Uh, AI is off the ship. He's like hey. the next forest. Oh wait, no, <laughs> right, no, right. It's like a mile back. Yeah, you have no idea. Sorry, I forgot. Oh, you have no oh, idea where oh, forty two oh. went. <laughs> forty two got fart dot mp three into oblivion. Nice. Man, forty two's off. Just got isekai'd. Oh <laughs> my gosh. Damn. Anyways, off he goes. So. Uh, let's see. So, uh, let's see who else. Uh. Aoth and Morlock would probably be uh, up in the uh, sort of captain's cabin uh, up towards the top of the ship. Uh, Cedric and uh, Quill were probably in their own rooms or something like that. D oh. No, Davari's still with you. She just... Uh, Davari's still, still on the ship. She's just been like thrown upside down, probably. Probably conked her head or something. Probably got her horns stuck in the top of the ship. Actually, yeah, yeah. Davari has her oh, horns. Oh no. Davari has her horns stuck in the ship. Damn. It's oh, canon. she got Clementine. It's, it's canon now. It's canon. Why is it that every tiefling has their head shoved into a ceiling? Because it's, it's funny. funny. <laughs> Uh. All right. So, uh, Boris, uh, as you're looking around, would you perhaps try, uh, like go outside of the ship to try and see your surroundings? Yeah, if I, if I know that everyone isn't dead, I'll pop up to the main deck and uh, go to the bow and look around. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, and yeah, Devar is definitely out cold for the moment. Don't worry, we'll we'll wake you up in a minute. Uh, so Boris, as as you look around, uh, you can see uh, fairly close to the crash site of the airship, a uh, a fairly brightly lit town. Uh, you can hear a little bit of music coming from it, uh, as, uh, soft orange light sort of spills out of the town and into the surrounding, uh, wet grasslands. Alright. I will, uh, bark for the rest of the party to join me. Morris, there you are. He will, Aoth will say as he kind of stumbles out of the cabin. What's the state, the full state of the airship? Alright. Uh, 
the current state of the airship, let's see. Um, is it like full on crash landing totaled? Or? No, uh, the essentially the very bottom half of the ship has been uh, very intensely splintered. Uh, a good portion uh, of the front has been torn off. Uh, mm. a, a bit of the uh, top deck flooring has also been uh, slightly messed up. Uh, the uh, the main like sort of mast bit with the crow's nest uh, has been completely totaled. Uh, in fact, the uh, the crow's nest nest mast is uh, sticking out of the ground a few uh, a few. Uh, like, 50 feet away. As, as you're looking around, uh, sort of, like, clawing through, uh, the, uh, the, the broken boards, uh, and whatnot, uh, Juniper just sort of, like, ascends from the wreckage. <laughs> Well, that doesn't uh, happen frequently. Moki is going to burst out from below deck with two fireballs in his paws. Ready to shoot it at the first thing that moves. Moki, hold on. That, that... Don't shoot. Don't, where, where are they? Don't don't cause any more damage to the ship that's already happened. Please. Just lightning. It was just lightning. Storm started brewing out of nowhere. <coughs> Loki gets on a vehicle and it immediately explodes. <laughs> wow. This is the second time that a vehicle has exploded due to Moki's presence. This wasn't Moki's fault. This is a... More it like was the a, fault of Cedric. He's a piece of splinter out of her foot that uh, unluckily got lodged during the crash. Hmm. And she notices, looking to her right, that a beam that came down came two inches from splitting her head open. I said... Oh, wait, no, you're talking about a different thing. Yeah. Ah. All right. A few seconds Everyone later... Everyone alive? A few seconds later, another plank of wood flies over your head, Morlock. Easy. Deck saving roll! <laughs> no, over your head. Natural 20. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, sure, you do an epic dodge. Yeah. Uh, she hears it coming from behind, and her uh, spider sense goes off, and she uh, dodges around it. Oh, man. Oh. Why are you the one that got Simon's hat? God damn it. <laughs> 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 As Aeok reaches the deck area where Horus is, he's gonna call out to the rest of the party and try and get them to also come closer to the deck area. Okay. Cedric! Climbing time! About here! Uh, Marlock makes her way over to Cedric's voice. Uh, Cedric's on one of the uh, lower floors. Not, oh, yeah. not, not the bottom, bottom one. He yeah. he he hasn't been uh, chucked out into the the winds of heaven yet. Yeah. Cedric, I'm coming to get you. Okay. Uh, and Morlock starts getting rid of debris. C Cedric uh, climbs out of a door. I'm okay. She helps him up, and she looks for Clementine. Clementine? Where would Clementine be? Uh, in Davari's room. Yeah, but what, like, did anything happen, or just, like, uh, is she good? Yeah. Well, I mean, she was violently thrown around, but otherwise, uh, probably isn't too dead. I, I think they're uh, right now. Davari's unconscious. Oh, shit. I'm in time! Uh, yeah! Marlock 
rock makes her way over to the Clementine's voice. Right. And uh, she tries to open the door to Devari's room. Uh, make a strength check. Oh boy. That's a three. All right, a three. Uh, 42! Oh, Thro oops, I accidentally... 42! He's, he's in, like, another fucking country. Okay, Clementine, is there anything in front of the door? Is there anything in front of the door? Davari. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I, okay, I try and pick Davari up and I say, Davari's dead? <laughs> <laughs> oh my. No, I think they meant like Davari was in the door, but sure. Davari's just in front of the door. Alright. God. I try and move her out of the way. Yeah, can I, can you, I do you, you can do it. Right. I'm going to run into this door to try and uh, bash it open. <laughs> okay, make another what? strength check. It's gonna open the door, dude. <laughs> another three. Boom. <laughs> oh God, it's more luck it's you really get knocked jammed. on. More luck you get Clementine knocked on your ass. God, oof. Clementine moves Davari out of the way and opens the door like a normal person. <laughs> it just opens the other way than Morlock was trying. <laughs> Are you alright, Morlock? It's a pull, not a push. <laughs> I'm, I'm fine, dear. Uh, Morlock uh, looks down to Davari. Ah, crap. And she's gonna use a cure wounds on her. Or nice. Uh, Davari, gain 11 HP back, please. Clementine, do you need any healing? Um, Clementine looks very nervous. And it's like, uh, no, I'm good, thank you. Morlock thinks they can take my job. Okay. Oh shit. Another chaos episode. I don't believe right. it. Uh, Morlock is going to pick uh, Davari up. All right, come on. Clementine will uh, help. Yeah, just put her on my back. Okay. Uh, as you guys exit, you see uh, you see Cedric like pulling Quill out of out of, out from a door. Shit, Quill, are you all right? My bones are hollow. Hold on. Hold on. Oh, why are your bones hollow? I was born like that, anyways. What happened? Oh, my back. I think lightning struck the boat. Yeah. This is why I don't like flying. Okay. Yep. I'm gonna I'm gonna give Quill that twenty six HP. He doesn't need it, but okay. He doesn't need oh sorry. It's okay. No, you don't need to avoid it, you're fine. Oh, it's twenty six HP. Okay. I mean, uh, probably 42. Javari on her back. He ain't here yet. Everyone alive? Everyone okay? Affirmative bark. Good boy. <laughs> and I will walk five. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, uh, alright, let's look around. Uh, Morlock is uh, gonna walk outside with Davari on her back, see if she can see what's 
around the crash site. Uh, once everyone gets up on deck, uh, Boris will bark to receive everyone's attention. And then he'll raise a paw and gesture and point towards the town not too far off. Okay. That's a good start. Good idea. Take it. Take. Does anyone else need healing? Buddy, I'll take it. Uh, if you if you heal Davari, I can probably bring her back to consciousness. Uh, Davari got hit pretty bad. Uh, they get a Do you want to take a look at her? Cool. Uh, Aok the... will make a quick medics check on them. Never mind. Epic. Nice. All right. <laughs> Let's head to that town, everyone. Come on, you. All right. And uh, Marlock marches on. All right. Still carrying Gamari until she awakes. Uh, All fun. right. So, uh, as all of you uh, get closer to the uh, to the town, uh, you guys uh, begin to uh, to hear uh, the sound of music uh, coming coming from the uh, from the town. Uh, let's. See. I'll. Uh, I think they would have saw us crash. Yeah, you would think that. Uh, just to make sure it is still, like, pouring. It is still pouring rain, yes. Beautiful. Moki is going to start going towards the music. Okay, this is this music isn't upbeat enough. Uh, try Castle Town? Or, um, Clock Town? Look, if, any, if anyone has, like, good, like... Fall Halloween music. music. Yeah, like festival music. That would be greatly appreciated. Yeah. Alright. Let's see if someone could do that. Please, thank you. Alright. Jason, are you getting that? Yep. A blah blah. A blah blah. A bee flew into my mouth. It, it was either that or a fly. Nice. All right. No, no, not nice. Very, very bad. Anyways, so, uh, as you all enter town, uh, you are greeted with a fairly lively sight. Uh, many people, um, partying and dancing in the streets, uh, Quite a few games have been set up on either side of the street, uh, and uh, you see as uh, many many children are. Uh... Yeah, that works. Uh, you see as uh, many children are running around dressed in uh, differently colored uh, outfits and costumes. Huh. Oh. Uh. Best so, uh, as you you can see, uh, as most of the town has been uh, decorated in many uh, different uh, differently colored pumpkins and uh, gourds that have been uh, carved and painted uh, into lanterns uh, that have been have set we, up. Have we arrived during some kind of festival? Suppose so. 
Can I roll history? Go see ahead. I know what this festival is. I was going to ask the same thing. <laughs> that would have been a nine. I rolled a seven. May I? Seven. Yeah, yes. go ahead. 21. 21. Can I have to make a perception check, please? Uh, a perception check? You said? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. All right. Uh, you would recall, uh, Boris, uh, of, uh, you've heard rumors of, uh, certain towns that, uh, celebrate a festival of, uh, yes. sort of I the, the yeah, uh, of sort of the, uh, end of autumn, uh, and fall, mm -hmm. uh, the, the Hallowed Eve festival, uh, people, uh, would, uh, sort of dress up for a good fortune uh, against spirits and other ghoulies uh, to protect them until the next festival. Uh, people people would uh, usually uh, dress up as things that uh, frighten them or things that they enjoy in order to uh, bring good fortune. Is Boris going to share this knowledge? Uh, yeah, I'll summon forth the paper and quill and uh, <laughs> write down a memo and hand it to each party member. Oh. The memo, ah. the memo only just says Happy Halloween. <laughs> yes, definitely. Oh. <laughs> this is vaguely familiar, but I don't think I've ever seen it. Um, do I notice anything interesting with my perception check? Like anything out of the ordinary festival stuff? Uh, let's see. Well, I'll- Any I'll, murders in the back alley? I'll right. tell you the things that you do see and I'll let you see if- I'll let you figure out yourself if these things are, uh, suspicious or not. Uh, let's see. Uh, you see, uh, plenty of, uh, sort of small games that have been set up around the area. Uh... You know, that sort of stuff. Uh, the, the tavern also seems to be quite lively and, uh, and bustling. Uh, you, see, you see quite a few interesting costumes about. Uh, let's see. Uh, I, I, I don't have examples for Halloween costumes, so... I, I'm just gonna look up Halloween costume knockoffs and uh, oh just describe oh, them yeah. for you guys. Pumpkins, zombies, mummies, zombies, mummies, vampires. Yeah. Nazgul. Sans. <laughs> 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 a few, a few skeletons, zo uh, zombies, whatnot. Uh, uh, you you see one guy dressed uh, dressed as uh, sort of the headless horseman. Man. Man's got a uh, a pumpkin on his head with like a green glow or whatever coming from the carved bit. Yeah, quite quite a few festivities uh, out and about. Um, should we do find a tavern or something? Someone to repair the ship. All right, I think that's a good start. Uh, Morlock walks into town and, uh, tries to get anyone's attention, really. Excuse me. Uh, alright. Uh, you, you get the attention of a, uh... Hmm. You get the attention of a quite, quite a, a tall guy dressed in, a in blue overalls with a red shirt. And a hat. Mm -hmm. Uh, sir? Uh... Uh, what's the weather like right now in, in town? Uh, it, it is still raining, uh, but uh, there, there, there's there been sort of like a spells and whatnot put in place to uh, stop the rain from ruining all the fun. Uh, sir, um, but, yes? I'm not sure if you noticed, but our airship crashed. Oh, and uh, Morlock points in the general direction. Oh dear, I had thought that that sound I heard was just lightning. Yeah, 
Um, we got caught up in the storm. Do you know anyone in this village that is a mechanic or an engineer? Hmm. Or even a carpenter? Uh, perhaps. I I do know that uh, quite a few of the workers have uh, holed up in the tavern for the night. All right. Thank you very much. Mm, that More that's on. probably your your best bet to uh, attempt to get there. Ah. Thank you very much. Uh, Morlock. Ugh, double checks Davari's still secure on her back and walks to the tavern. The, the Davari woke up. Oh, hey. And uh, peeled herself off of you. Oh. Yeah. Read D&D chat for once, Tyson. <laughs> I was looking for the fireworks. Uh, but yes. Uh, as all of you enter the tavern, uh, again, quite a few of these, uh, fall decorations have been, uh, set up across the area. Uh, pumpkins, uh, strewn up on the walls, uh, you know, the, the whole Halloween shebang. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just trying to make a nice Halloween atmosphere for everyone, you know? Oh, yeah. Uh, Boris will be in the raptured. Just, you know, watching everyone run around, have fun, just staring and intently and just absorbing everything. Yeah. Kind of like lags behind everyone else. Aoth is very carefully watching all the children that they don't get snatched away in the madness. <laughs> don't worry, the parents are keeping an eye on their children. No, no, our children. Oh, our children, yeah. Fair enough. Yes. Yeah, that that's a, that's a very good idea. All right. Uh, uh so for uh, Davari, as you uh, go to the counter to get a uh, a seasonal blend, uh, so to say, uh, uh, you see a uh, a, a latte. say again. Sorry. Oh, I just said pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> pumpkin spice latte. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, uh, as you uh, talk to the innkeeper, a uh, a fairly old looking or like middle aged, I guess, looking halfling. Uh, she she says, ah, "You're looking for the seasonal blend." Uh, well, we have some uh some uh pumpkin brewed alcohol. Uh. It's been made for the season. Is it because she's white and blonde? No, it's because it's fall, and I thought pumpkin <laughs> alcohol would be sort of cool. Beautiful. Hey, I'll try one. <laughs> Who else wants one? It's on me. Take one, then. Yo, Bar Yo Boris will take one. I'll take one. No, you're not old enough to consume wait. alcohol. Yeah, wait a minute. <laughs> you, you that hasn't stopped us me trying. before. Yeah, I was gonna say, Morlock, you horrible parent. Hey, Clementine, would you like to have one of these pumpkin spices? Morlock? They're underage. It's a holiday. They're oh! underage. If oh, they want the one, they can have grown. one. I was, oh. I was okay. No, honestly, I was joking. And also, I didn't know until someone said alcohol that it had alcohol in it. <laughs> okay, Morlock will get you something that's equally as good. All right. Um, Black are coffee. you able to do that without the alcohol? Morlock asks. We we do have uh, non-alcoholic things for the season. A pumpkin? Yeah. Pumpkin spice lot. We we also have a yes! shut yes, up. Please. We also have a uh, apple cider and whatnot. Uh, no, no. I will as well. take a pumpkin spice <coughs> latte. With a dash of rum. <laughs> no rum. Right. For me, not oh. for the child. 
You're scaring me. <laughs> Dude, Boris is just slamming these, like, <laughs> pumpkin brews. Can we get us? Uh, Wait, Mark. Boris is drinking? <laughs> yes! Alcoholic yes! dog. Oh, yes. uh, Morlock uh, takes her drink. It's oh my god, that is. It'll flow. I. Boris that is, is good. Wonderful. Mm, that is good shit. Mm. How much? Yeah. Three pumpkin alcoholic drinks and a pumpkin spice latte. Ah, uh, for everything I'd say about uh, uh, nine divorce. silver. Drop ten gold for the entire tavern. <laughs> yeah. They've already paid for several rounds for yeah. the entire bar, <laughs> and Boris has taken as many as he gets. Yeah. There you go, sir. Nine silver. And uh, uh, happy hollow day. <laughs> you know, it holiday. Happy hollow days. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. Uh, as, as y'all are, uh, you know, drinking and whatnot, you know, they've got a, a nice big old window. You know, you can see outside everyone uh, having having a nice uh, holiday, uh, nice holiday relaxation, you know. So, uh, Morlock is going to see if he can't spot uh, any of the workers. Uh... You do, you do spot uh, uh, quite a, quite a few people in here. Uh, not not as many as you expect, but you know it is the holidays. People are probably spending it with their families and whatnot outside. Nice. Excuse me. I was told that you were an engineer. Uh, nah, not me. Uh, uh I do know someone that uh, that's an engineer though, somewhere in the town. I uh, don't know where he is, no. Oh. May have to wait till tomorrow. Sorry to interrupt, but Hey Yoshi is 420. No! Yeah. <laughs> Every time. Uh, Morlock kind of just like looks around. Hmm. Where can I get a costume? Uh, if you're, <laughs> if you're looking for a costume, uh, Pretty sure there's a few stalls outside selling some. All right. What do you mean a costume? Morlock leaves the bar. Okay. Uh. Give me a moment. So. As you attempt to uh, open the door back up, it's locked. If uh, everyone in the party could please make me a constitution saving throw. Uh, Son of a bitch! Everyone? Oh. <laughs> in, in, the bar, in the bar, everyone who has consumed... Please make me a constitution saving throw. Oh good, a natural one! Nineteen, baby! Oh, Dick dog! Let's go! <laughs> yeah! I should not have bought those drinks! Despite my disadvantage, I actually got a good roll! Very nice. Let's go, baby! Uh, Nineteen! As, uh, let's see. Uh, for those of you who made below a, uh, sixteen save... Uh... You, you guys begin to lose feeling in your limbs, and uh, what's this? You uh, you can't move. I, I can't. Can I not? Sorry. Can I not scream either? Mm, nope. No, I'm just so no. No one knows I'm in danger. Do, do we? S <laughs> Everyone who made below a sixteen is paralyzed. <laughs> does, 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 like does mean? No. Yeah. Does does mean Clementine realize that our party members are uh, 
Hey, uh, yo, what the fuck? Would you hide? Both, both of you makes, uh, make a perception check. I... I'm good at perception. Okay, fourteen. That's a twenty-one. Okay. Something doesn't seem correct. <laughs> yeah, my drinking buddy's suddenly locked up. What the fuck? <laughs> Thank so you Marlock for the mood change. Is you know walking to the door when she just suddenly fully feels it. <laughs> Anything special you want to happen to her? Because she rolled a nat one, or just. Uh, yeah, sure, you just fall flat on your face. Yeah. <laughs> I'm looking around at everybody else. Uh, other than just our party members, what's, what's the rest of the townsfolk doing? Uh, before I get to that, more like you fall flat on your face and your, your, uh, your, your drink begins to pour onto the ground and onto, you know, it, it begins to get, get on your face a little bit, too. It's like a pool of blood around <laughs> Except your stomach. It's, it's pumpkin spice. It's a pool of pumpkin spice. <laughs> <laughs> he says nothing. <laughs> Yeah. Clementine and Borisk. Yes. Could the two of you make me a wisdom saving throw? As you see a few of the other figures in the bar uh, stand up. Oh, okay, okay, I got a dirty 20. Damn. Okay. So, fact against, if you don't mind my asking. Uh, hold person, essentially. Ah, that's gonna be a 17. A 17, alright. You can kiss my ass. <laughs> alright, make me another wisdom saving throw as the other people in the bar also stand up. Shit, alright. That's a 19 this time. God right. damn it! It'd suck being in the bar right now. Oh man. <laughs> Fuck. God damn it, Boris just wanted to- I'm so glad I'm not in a just... town full of crazy people. <laughs> I'm in the town of crazy people, I'm just not in the bar with the crazy you people. Yeah, think about this. Wait, Four where did Loki go? Great. I, I was gonna say that, but I don't want to interrupt, so keep on your bit. No, seriously, where did Moki go? <laughs> he just disappeared. Um, Moki was gonna- was gonna disappear and cause, <laughs> uh, play a practical joke. No. Also, I got a four. Um. Okay. Uh, Clem, you're, uh, Clementine is paralyzed. Boris, oh you are currently okay. the last one standing. Okay. As, uh, as, uh, as, uh, as the rest of the people in the... The other people in the bar uh, stand up and look towards you. Okay, then. Uh, I would like to look at my party members. Are they kind of roughly clumped up enough? Uh, that depends. Where would everyone be seating? Because there's, like, window seats, there's the bar, there's, uh, just regular tables. I imagine Aeoth would probably be at the bar where we got his... Unless, unless the rest of the party went to sit down somewhere, because then he would stick with the party. Okay. I imagine we were all sitting at the bar. Oh fuck. Okay. Um. Hmm. Uh. I guess my really big question is, uh, how lined up <laughs> is everyone? It, uh, like the other patrons of the bar, we'll say. The the patrons of the bar are fairly spread out, like throughout the entire bar. Or patrons okay. in air quotes. Oh uh, god. <laughs> Do I feel a menacing aura? Like, this is a bad thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Alright, cool. Now, here's the question. Do I want to save people or run away? Uh, as... Your choice, because someone walks up to the door and stands in front of it. Okay, okay. Uh, can you give me a second to think about what Boris is going to do? I'll give oh. you ten seconds to think. I'll ten. Roll a constitution. Nine. 
Eight. All right. Seven. Fuck it. These people want a monster? I'll give them a fucking monster. I'm going to polymorph myself into a T-Rex. What the? <laughs> Seeing this shit go down, Boris will go ahead and go on all fours. The hairs upon his back will uh, sleek down into the like reptilian skin as instead he will grow to a gargantuan size and will fucking break and like explode splintering like the bar's roof as he transforms into a fucking T-Rex. A giant bird. God damn it, Caleb. What? What? You forgot that the dog had polymorph? I forgot that. That's a good idea. You want a monster? We're gonna have a fucking kaiju fight, all right? Let's go. Tear down the walls. All right. Who's the closest fucker next to me that I'm biting? <laughs> I I'm just going straight in. Like... <laughs> You wanna, you wanna roll for, for initiative now? <laughs> this is why you, uh, I just like to say this is why you can never plan anything in D and D because something is always <laughs> going to happen. <laughs> sorry. I'm sorry that the dog out of everyone here, the fucking wizard, was the one that succeeded against your saves. I'm sorry. All right. Uh, yeah, now, go go ahead and uh, just just bite one of the dudes. Uh, roll 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 to roll roll to bite. Okay, cool. That's. That's gonna be a. <laughs> oh, that's eleven. I'm afraid that doesn't hit. And uh, as you attempt to to chomp down on a on this lad, um, you get you guys see, all of you see, as uh the entirety of the inside of the bar is covered in a uh, a veil of darkness. Uh-uh. Can attack, or...? You can't see anything. Well... So I unless... can fling wildly with disadvantage. But you have your friends around you. Do you not really, really want to my hit... friend. Do you really want to... Horace, you will like not get any... Horace, you made me a promise! Bad dog. Bad dog. If you step on me. Bad dog. Bad. No. All right, All right, kill her. Uh, Boris, I mean, could you? Not actually saying this. Boris, could you make me a perception check with disadvantage? By the way. <laughs> okay. Okay. Please roll decent. At twelve. Twelve. All right. All right. Um, so. Uh. For, uh, for, for, for the rest of you, uh, and Boris, you do not notice this. Uh, y'all, y'all get tied up. Uh, you, you guys feel uh, a bit of rope get wrapped around all of you. Uh, I guess in the Veil of Darkness I'll just be making intimidating T-Rex noises. Yep. <laughs> just being spooky. And, uh... As everyone is, uh... taken somewhere that, uh, you can't exactly see. Let's see, let's see. Uh, hold on, let me put up, pull up the script again. You see, uh, the darkness, uh, 
fall as all of your friends or friend comrades com- comrades associates yes friend <laughs> yeah and my one drinking buddy now all right they all dragged yeah. off all of them have been uh dragged off and uh you see you see two figures you see uh you you see two new figures in the room uh standing in front of all of these guys you see a uh a man with a pumpkin head with the green glow coming out of the carving and a uh a second lad uh another another person uh that has been uh, wrapped up in a fairly dense cloak uh and hat And, uh, as that happens, let's see. Uh, give me a second. Uh, let's see. You see, uh, one of, one of the, uh, "Quote unquote patrons from the bar, uh, lean down to Morlock, and uh, let's see, where's my dice? What me taken away? No, uh, like you seen everyone else was like every, yeah, like so. What's essentially happened is uh, everyone has been piled up behind the bar. Oh, of. okay." Like, mm, okay. be- behind, like, the, the bar table where everyone is. Everyone's been piled up. Uh, okay. And one person uh, sort of backhands Morlock across the face. It doesn't do anything. Wow. It, it, it doesn't, it honestly doesn't okay. do much. Man's got wizard hands, you know? Oh. Yeah. Well, look, it gets spooky when those wizard hands can turn into giant ape hands. Okay? Yeah, that's true. That's, you have a point there, yeah. All right. Uh, seeing that, but but before before you uh, rip and tear right. until it's done, uh, all right, all right. he says, uh, "The person says, <coughs> you see here, uh, we've been uh, hired to take to, to take care of uh, you lot. There's a." A special interest on a few of you in here, and uh, a few of the uh, patrons uh, glare at Morlock, as well as at Clementine. What did I do? Uh, I will do you that see. classic thing of uh, while he's talking. I will lean I up. See. And uh, put my head like head towards the sky and do the classic like T Rex loud as fuck roar. <laughs> I can't. Yes. And I'll let it go for a pretty long time until I just look back down at him and lean in. He snaps his fingers, and halfway through your roar, the roar just cuts out, and you can't hear anything from your mouth anymore. I eat him. <laughs> okay. <laughs> can, can, can you can you can you please? Okay. Can you can you please? I want to also state this. Boris is a drunk T Rex right now. I eat him. Please at least let him finish the monologue, my guy. You Boris doesn't fucking care. Okay. 
Can, oh. can you at least? Okay, I'll let you eat him. Can you at least right, let me finish fine, this one? Fine. L- literally, okay, fine. This one little bit, and then you can kill him all you want. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right and please. Caleb, I will play you a dinosaur effect. This let this play out first. Continue, uh, you, Yoshi. Uh, you hear, you hear the man say. <clears throat> You see, uh, as one of them looks at Morlock, your father paid us good money to have you not get killed. Uh, and as they look at, uh, at Clementine as well, and so did yours. Uh, and, and now, and now, I'll let you eat the guy. Uh, question. You know that wisdom saving throw? Yeah. I'll, Morlock, I'll, I'll let you do the thing now. Uh, it has just enough. Uh, kind of over it. Hey. Bottoms up. And she uh, kicks the guy towards Boris. <laughs> yeah. yeah that's gonna be a 24 to hit yeah yeah all right t-rex don't fail me now give me that insane damage everyone thinks you do i i have a question yeah oh. uh yes. clem what time do me you know? Yeah, what time do you want us over there? Like five. Because <clears throat> it's four forty now. I know. And it'd probably take twenty minutes to get there for most of us. So, yeah, I'm just saying we might have to wrap things. Yeah, up. Yeah, I'm. We're getting to the end of it. It's nearly over. Okay, <clears throat> just wait a little bit longer. Yeah, just uh, just making sure. Yeah, that's gonna be forty-one piercing damage. Oh, okay, wow. yeah, that dude is just in <laughs> half. Yeah. He's dead. Uh, but you all uh, also, Morlock, you hear behind you, uh, the clicking of a gun. As uh, you realize, you do not have your pistol. Oh. I now, uh, I turn her. Uh, b- before you say, oh wait, yeah, you you turn around. Yeah, yeah, I turn around. Uh, as you turn around, uh, you see uh the fairly tall, uh, uh fairly tall dude in a hat. Uh, give me a second. All right. Uh, as you as you uh, attempt to turn around, uh, you you feel the person uh, sort of heavily step on your back and uh, keep you down. Oh. Uh, you you hear a voice come from one of them. Before you all do anything too rash, I'd recommend you all stop. For the sake of your friend. Uh. And you hear something get wheeled out from a room as uh, as 42 has been tied up, put onto one of those, uh, like, you know, the box pushers, like the like the little uh, things that you use to help transport boxes. 42 has been tied up to one of those uh, and you can see uh, his eyes are slowly like going through the colors of the rainbow, like the RGB, uh, and you can, you can faintly hear music coming from inside, going, ooh ooh ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> oh. beautiful, beautiful, Car- caramel dancing, uh, playing in forty two. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. he's, he's practically indestructible, <laughs> and even if you kill him, he just come back. What, you think that's a threat? <laughs> a little bit. I don't want one to die. Please. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. 
42, you, you I... are uh, unable to move. You are essentially infected by a virus right now. And uh, yeah. Anyways. Hey, Yoshi, I'm going to pull a character plot moment here that we've discussed and you've known about for quite a while. Now. Yeah. Okay. Just don't do anything too crazy because there's another thing coming. I mean, first of all, uh, is Cedric tied up right yes. now? Yes. Cedric is tied up. <laughs> Six small hands, small metallic hands just come out of his hair. <laughs> what the fuck? And cut and break the rope. <laughs> and then the what the fuck? The, <laughs> <laughs> the children. <laughs> yes! The children what? have been released. <laughs> and I'll uh, let you do what <laughs> you're doing first. Yeah. But a small deep. Uh, if anyone w wants to know, uh, there's <laughs> the RGB is slowly decreasing in brightness. <laughs> uh oh! Before I get before we get to um, forty two uh, uh, returning. Uh. Warlock, you hear the you hear uh the trigger get pulled on the gun on the back of your head. Uh please the trigger? Please you you hear the uh the the, the gun Amber. uh fire. Could, oh could, I got shot could, in the back could, of the Could could you please uh regain uh five HP? Ah, holy fuck, you idiot! With my own gun! <laughs> um, uh, can I smile sadistically now? Yes, you may! As uh, the, 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 as the person, uh, I'll allow you to smile, don't say anything else, as the, uh, person on your back, uh, essentially steps forward, uh, grabbing another one of the robbers and uh you see as the the one that they grab uh you see slowly uh extending from the hand from where they touch the kidnapper you see as their skin begins to to flake and like burn uh you see oh. you see this guy uh like become more and more uh like charred uh expanding outwards from the hand oh my god i uh i'm gonna stand up now hold on hold on hold on uh and you see you see the other guy uh, the man with the pumpkin head begin to beat up the other people uh, the other kidnappers uh, just straight clocking them across the face and into the uh, into all the bottles behind the bar what is going on? if I can I will continue ripping and tearing yeah <laughs> Like big hungry drunken dinosaur is not gonna stand there. Yep. And uh as the last kidnapper gets burned uh ah. and the cloaked person and the pumpkin headed person uh are the last ones standing. I do believe uh, they'd like to huh. reveal themselves well, now. You guys gave us a lot more trouble than what that was needed. Agreed! You fucking schmucks. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> uh, lovely. Halloween! Halloween! Halloween. I'm so glad that plan Halloween. Yeah? <laughs> yes! Man, I almost bit your head off! Yeah, I figured. That's why I casted Darkness. <laughs> oh, that was you! It really was the best way to go. 
Yeah, I kind of coordinated this whole thing. These guys were following you. I followed them. We all kind of, you know, found you anyway. So, so. Theorem! Hey, Clementine! Uh, seeing as how everyone else is happy, Boris will go from T Rex back to dog. Are we still paralyzed? Nah, okay, you see, like, some other of the people just untie you and then, like, heal if you need it. <clears throat> My fucking nose. You, the, did you <laughs> paralyze me? Uh, no, that was Priscilla. <laughs> Who the hell is Priscilla? The, queen the halfling? The one who served you and you broke her family home. Aww. Uh. <laughs> uh, and then Larum just takes a chunk of gold that was paid to them and then puts it on Priscilla and he's just like thanks for letting us use this place uh, uh, Boris will burp uh, throwing up a human femur <laughs> good uh, you wanna uh -oh. turn back now Boris he is not yet <laughs> To a dog. I did that while a dog. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, Tyson, out of character. I told I your pull your pistol wasn't loaded with healing bullets. The clicking you heard earlier was me unloading it and putting them in. Oh. Oh. Uh, Good. Mm. Nice. Mm-hmm. So I for as chaotic as that was, I think that went somewhat according to plan. That was amazing! Yeah. Ah, that was so good. That was good. That, that was, was amazing. Uh, looking seepishly, uh, feeling really bad that he got played and uh, fucked up a nice person's place. Yeah. That was, oh, was great. That? Okay. So that, huh? was that was great. I'm. Nope. I got you guys. I was just doing my job. Could have gotten. I was killed. No, I made sure you weren't. I was just following these dudes. You know, I was too lazy to navigate you guys myself. And then these guys were going to chase you anyway. So I figured, uh, I don't want to look for them. Well, might as well follow these dudes and kill them before they even got to the party. Besides! Or, wait, they got to you, but I wouldn't let them kidnap or kill you. You're fine. All right. silence. All right, so that was great. And 42 explodes into a giant mound of flesh and metal. What? <laughs> what? What? The caramel dancing bit was amazing. Thank you. <laughs> I wanted that to happen. Yeah, but now it's unleashed yeah. a greater evil onto the world. <laughs> Use? Which is. Yoshi, do you want to do this now? Because I've got to start walking to. Place. Yeah, let, let's do the let's do the reveal just for like the the ending of the recording, and then you guys can like, you know, talk. Yeah, like right. talk as characters or as us? why not both? Oh, oh uh, okay. Know, because we might have to fight a monster that would kind of kill all right. any what? role playing. Yeah, let, 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 let's just have forty two do the thing first. All right. All right. Uh. So you guys remember uh, that facility? Oh no. Yeah. Which one? Couple. The, the, one the, the one, one, one with all the scary monsters. The flesh yeah. facility in the forest. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, that's never gone away from 42. Oh. <laughs> no. It just stayed in him. Uh, evolving like a cancer. Oh! And for the first time, 42 wasn't in control of his body. It took the moment and struck. God damn it, I needed him. <laughs> and, and I warned Yoshi when he said uh, he had a plan <laughs> that I would do something like this. Yeah. I know. I I just wanted it to happen after we did this. Anyways, we'll get into the into that battle with the giant flesh pile of forty two next session. For now, uh, I'll let you guys catch up non canonically. Hell yeah! So so that uh, never mind. 
I'll okay. I'll let you guys catch up so that. Okay. We'll put off that forty-two thing canonically until the next time. I'll let you guys uh, just like you know talk and whatnot now. Yeah. You you get what I mean. You get what I mean. I mean. Yeah, we know what you mean. Yeah. The f the flesh yeah. thing didn't happen yet. Yeah. All right. Anyways, everyone, say goodbye to the recording. Bye. Bye. Happy All Hallows Eve. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween. Happy Halloween.